Simeon, you have the gift of prophecy. Gaze at the stars tonight and tell us, will the Messiah be born soon? The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. I have never before seen such a sight. It is a wondrous night indeed. I feel a stillness, as though this night the heavens will be opened, and the radiance of God will penetrate the darkness of the waiting earth. Simeon. The Spirit of God is with you. Tell us, will the Messiah be born this very night? The time is near. However, it is not yet the hour of fulfillment. I have been waiting many years for the coming of the Promised One, and God has revealed his will to me tonight. I am an old man and have not long to live, but the Spirit of God has told me that I shall not see death till I have beheld the Lord's Christ. Now behold the words as spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Salvation of God, the 
soon be tested, and you must also have faith for Mary, your betrothed. What do you mean? There is no pure maid in all of Israel. How could I ever doubt her? Mary, when the time comes, do not be afraid. how this prophecy can possibly concern us. I only know that Mary will soon become my wife. Joseph, the ways of God are sometimes strange to us. But when the time comes, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shine. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end.
hours late, and the wind seems cold to an old man. It is a night of dreaming, and perhaps a night of miracles. Farewell, Mary and Joseph. Mary, it is getting late, and your parents will be concerned. Come, I'll take you home. If you don't mind, Joseph, I would like to stay for just a few minutes by myself and look at the stars and think about the prophecy. I I'm not really sure, Mary. Please, I'll be all right. All right, then. Until tomorrow. <laughs> My name is Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. For behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus, and he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God shall place him upon the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the kingdom of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom. There shall be no end. But how can this be when I know not a man? The presence of the Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. And therefore also that Holy One, which is to be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word.
about it, the conjunction of the planets will occur soon as we had supposed. Yes, and it will appear as a star of unprecedented brilliance and magnitude. Men will talk of it for centuries to come. Never before in the history of the world has man been so privileged to behold such wonder. Now, according to my calculations, the star may best be seen from the land of Judea. This heavenly manifestation uh, must surely proclaim a divine of great, an event of great divine importance. Uh, tell us, Balthazar, what the prophecies will be fulfilled? There are many prophecies which foretell the coming of the Lord, saying he will enter this material plane to provide us power to overcome evil. The Son of God will have to become a man for men to become sons of God. This Son of God created the world. The Greeks refer to him as Logos, the eternal word. But we in the East, we refer to him as the eternal light. He will be incarnate as a Jew, the one called the Messiah. It is my opinion that it is this great event which is heralded by this celestial occurrence. I can think of no other event of such significance. If the star can be seen most brilliantly from Judea, then it is there we must travel. I agree with your conclusion. The coming of the word of God, what wonders he will perform. It is an age of the dawn of an age of peace and goodwill toward men. When he teaches the eternal truths of God, surely all men will hear the message, and salvation will be open to everyone of every race. It would be more in keeping with the nature of man if they proved too blind to recognize the prophet. Men are notorious for killing their prophets. You have too little faith in men, Balthazar. There will surely be room in the hearts of men for their Savior. We shall see.
that night when the angel came to me in a dream he said we were to call his name Jesus for he will save his people from their sins he will be the light of the world the hope of all mankind Joseph lying in a manger See that they're all safe for the night. We have, Father, and they're probably all asleep by now. You'd best be sleeping also. We must be up before daybreak. I did see a star. There are always stars to see. Go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you. 
searching the king of the Jews. You tell them that I am the king of the Jews. But, but it is not you whom they seek, my lord. They say that the heavens declare the birth of the promised Messiah. Messiah? Then has traveled a long distance in search of a legend. You bid them enter and may amuse me. Come, you may enter. God strengthen your life, O King. We have come from the east to Dorgia, George, to Dor towards Jordia. We are your humble servants. My court is honored by your distinguished presence. What quest brings you here? Ah, oh. we will tell you. We are the wise men. We seek the child. prophesied in many lands. At what time did this star appear? We were in the east, preparing for our journey when we saw the star in the western sky. to see exactly where and when. You go and search diligently. Diligently. And when you found him, come and tell me so that I too can go and worship him. A sinister man, I heard, I do not trust him. Nor do I. Now I'm beginning to understand the meaning of the dream that I had last night, which a fox attacked a sheep of a herd of sheep and killed only the lamb. It may mean that Herod intends to kill all the male children of Bethlehem. 
he would never stand a threat to his authority. If I am right, the Messiah may never live to rule in Judea. Even a treacherous fox can be outwitted. God will not let this holy child be killed. But if Herod's plan is thwarted somehow, our lives may be in danger. We must be certain of our fears. Let us pray for reassurance. O oh, eternal light, illuminate our understanding, that we might know thy will. Shed thy radiance to dispel the darkness of our minds and lighten our pathway to thy presence. A light in the heavens, directly over Bethlehem. It is even far brighter than before. No mere planet could cause this heavenly display. The light of God, a miracle, the light of God.
that you might feel that you're a part of it. And we pray that the Lord Jesus might be real to you in your own hearts also. Because it's a great gift that he's given. And it's a gift that you and I can receive into our own lives through his Holy Spirit. And we thank God for that. And we wish you a Merry Christmas. In closing, I would like for us to have the house lights. And I'm going to do something the choir doesn't know I'm going to do. I would like them to come down. And we're going to sing together a chorus. Uh, we're going to sing together from our hymnals, number 49, a Christmas carol. All come, all ye faithful. And this gives you an opportunity to see who our choir is. And while they're coming, I would like to recognize Mrs. Warren, who is at our piano. Could you stand, Mrs. Warren, just so some of the folks can see you. We thank her so much for her good work. <laughs> Also, our Barbara Borsak, who put together all of this for us. I'd like her to stand. And, uh, and Mr. Tom Ayers, who is not down here yet, but you can give him a hand also, who led our choir. There are many others who contributed through the making of the costumes and the watching of the children so that everybody else could accomplish this. And um, we want to really honor them and thank them for their work. But we also, I, a couple of announcements I'd like to let you know of. We have taped this um, cantata, and if you'd like to have it, we uh, will give it to you for cost. Any of you who are not going to be coming back to the church and you're not part of the church family, you can go up to the balcony and they have a duplicator and they make it right away and you can get it. For the rest of you who will be here next week, just sign your name on the board, please, uh, because it would be rather difficult for us to give you uh, all those tapes this evening. There will be offering plates in the back for anybody who would like to help us offset the, the uh, cost of producing this uh, musical drama. And we would uh, leave that out there for your goodness to contribute to this cantata and its expenses. But let's all stand now. And number 49, O oh, come all ye faithful. And let's all sing together in honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. you are uplifted and that you are shown to us in all of your beauty and the beauty of the sacrifice and this great gift that you have given to us. I pray that you would give us all a blessed Christmas and that we might remember you in all of the things that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs>